welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Chelsea and today I am going to show you guys my fall makeup tutorial and I'm so excited to show you this because I just love the look that I did I have already done this already and I just absolutely love it I know I'm just gonna keep doing it the whole season because I love it and I'm going to be using mostly the NYX lid lingerie palette I love this so good so good eyeshadows are so amazing there's not a lot of fallout and they're so pigmented look at that and I love this look I also paired a dark lip with it but you can do a lighter nude if you're not comfortable with the dark lip and I just want to let you guys know that I already did my face makeup and I already did my foundation and my eyebrows before going in with the eyes but I did show you guys the bronzer and the highlight and all that. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And thanks so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate it. And I really hope that you subscribe to my channel and support me. I love you for that. And if you want to see this makeup look and how I got it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already have my foundation on, my eyebrows on. I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I have my concealer on. I used the Maybelline Insta Age Room Line and Maybelline Fit Me, a combination of both. I have my powder on as well, and I used the NYC Loose Powder. Uh, my eyebrows are just the Maybelline Define a Brow and the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. I will leave all the products that I use down below in the description box. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way because this look is going to be more centered around the eyes. So uh, the palette I'm going to use today is actually from NYX and it's the Lingerie Lid Lingerie Shadow Palette. So it looks like this. It's about $10 and it comes with six matte eyeshadows that are so beautiful. I love them. The ones that I'm going to use the most today are this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to create a look with this. The first shade I'm going to start off with is this white cream color and it's just going to go all over our lid just to um, act as a base and to just set our concealer. So you can actually just use your finger for this or you can use a brush. Since I already picked some up with my finger, I'm just going to go right in and put this all over my lid up to the brow bone. Because this eyeshadow palette does not have a transition shade, I am actually going to use one out of the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to use the Bare Necessities palette and I'm just going to take this shade that I always use as my transition shade. It's just a nice light matte brown and I'm going to use a crease brush and I'm just going to put that right above my crease as my transition shade. shade on I'm going to go in with this orangey warm toned brown that's going to be the star of the show um, it looks more orangey on the lid than it does in the pan it's so pretty such a warm rust brown that I have been looking for for I can't tell you how many how, how long how many months I've been looking for a color like this that is affordable um, so I did have to buy this palette because the color was in there. I couldn't find a single eyeshadow that was like this, but I am on the hunt for one. So I'm just gonna take a Sigma E38 brush. It's a diffused crease brush, and I'm going to pick up some of that color. These eyeshadows actually do not have much fallout, which is really nice. Um, and I'm just going to buff that in the crease right underneath where we put that transition shade. And as you can see, it looks so much more warm on the eyes than it does in the pan. And it's so beautiful. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to drag this color all over the lid. Because I want, I want like an all matte look today. Um, and I just love this color and I just want it to be the star of the show. So I'm going to put this all over my lid as well. Go back 
in with my first crease, crease brush that I use. It's the Tapered Blendy Brush by Sigma. And it's where we have that transition shade. Um, and I'm just going to blend everything together. Mostly just the edges of the eyeshadow look. Oh, you guys absolutely love that color. The next color I'm gonna go in is right underneath it. And this is a darker, chocolatey, warm brown, um, as opposed to this one, which is more of a cool brown. And this one is more of a warm brown. So I'm gonna go in with this one with a smaller crease brush and get it right into that outer V area. I'm just gonna take that on this e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to lay that right on the outer V of the eye. It's just going to deepen up this eye a little bit more. I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner. I'm just keeping it right on that outer V. So now I want to bring some of that orange shade back in because um, I feel like I lost some of it with that, but I'm just going to go back in with the E38 brush from Sigma. Take that orangey brown shade again and just blend out where we put that darker shade. And I'm just going to blend it all over the lid. The lower lash line and I'm going to take this orangey shade again and I'm gonna use a really small dense brush to just pack it on the lower lash line I'm also going to take that darker brown and put that on the outer portion of the lower lash line now I'm going to take this sm very small but dense crease brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm going to just mix these two shades together and just smudge that along the lower lash line and really blend it out and make it more smoky. Talk about how amazing this looks. I love this look okay i'm gonna go back in with the wet wild palette i'm taking this shade right here it's a champagne -y, shimmery color that we're going to use to highlight that inner corner just a little bit because we're mostly matte um we're having like a matte eye look right now so we're just gonna put a little bit out in there and we're also going to highlight the brow bone Next thing I'm going to do is put eyeliner in my inner rim and my upper rim, and I'm using the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the shade Espresso, I believe. Hooked on Espresso, it's called. Hooked on Espresso. Okay, I'm going to put on lashes, and then these are from Eileen, and they're the Kiss Me this some lash and they look like this but I am going to use these ones because I've cut them to make them just a little bit shorter and they don't go all the way to the inner rim of my eye it just makes them more comfortable and they just fit my eye better so I'm going to pop these on and I'm using the kiss lash adhesive so I'll be right back and I'm going to put these lashes on okay so I got my lashes on my eyes are pretty much done I did put some mascara on my lower lashes and my upper lashes just to blend the falsies and I think they look really good I also put some liquid liner I'm using the NYX uh, matte liquid liner in black and I just put a little bit just to blend my lashes so now we're gonna go back to the face and everything is set with powder but I'm going to go in with bronzer and I'm using this new one by Rimmel it's the maxi bronzer face and body bronzer and I have it in the shade medium it's an all matte color there's kind of like three different shades in here but they're all matte so I just take a fluffy brush and I just kind of like swirl them all together and I'm just going to bronze up my face with this
contour my cheekbones and my nose and all that i'm using the elf um bg matte duo here and i'm just going to take this matte brown color to contour my face I'm just, I'm just gonna use the one right next to this contour shade. It's just a nice um, pinky, bro, pinky peachy blush. Um, you just wanna use a little bit because it's very pigmented. I feel like this kind of matches my eyes, honestly. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to contour, well it's not last, or not contour, what's wrong with me? I'm going to highlight, and this is the Went Wild Mega Glow in the shade Precious Petals, a very nice bronzy pink color, and I feel like it'll look good with the eye. So we're just going to pop this on my cheekbones. This glow is on fire. This glow is on fire. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to lips, and I'm going to line my lips with the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Spice. It's a nice brownie, neutral, nude color. I'm gonna light handed with this because I don't want it to be like too intense. Okay, so that is my lip liner. For my lipstick, I'm using the NYX Laundry and I'm going to use the shade Bustier. It's kind of a purpley color, a dark, nude purple i just got it and i love it it is kind of darker um a lighter alternative you can use is the nyx lingerie in the shade lace detail that one's really nice as well i'm gonna be really light-handed with this because i don't want it to be like super dark and my last step is to set my face with a makeup setting spray and I'm going to use the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous 12 Hour Power Setting Spray. And there you have it. This is my fall makeup tutorial. I've been loving wearing this eyeshadow look. It looks so good. I love a warm eye. It's one of my favorite things ever. And I think this lip combo looks really good as well it's very fall themed so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from me every week bye guys